Good morning, modern steaders. Let's see what the boss thinks about the outhouse so far. Wanna go check it out? I know you do. She's got her first day of band practice today. That's so much to carry. She's got her flute. So can't wait. To to carry cause they have to give us these big things. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to hear all about it on the way home. Yeah. Why is the door open? Cause I had to let it dry. So I can't sit on the toilet. You could. It's wet. You can. No, it should be dry now. <gasps> yeah, it's dry now. I'm gonna have to do a second coat to it. Well, I had to fix it for you. Wow. What do you think? I like the stickers. You like the stickers? So some of the pennies date to 2017 for the year we did it. And then one of them is the 2008, the year you were born. Which one? I don't know. You'd have to look and see. 2017. 2008. It's you found it? You like it? Yeah, where'd you get that sticker? Stormy Cromer sent a bunch of them. Oh. So well, I thought I'd put one in. From the Great American Farm. Yeah, from the Rhodes family when they were here. We have time this morning to work on our sink, and this afternoon, I don't think we're gonna have any. Let me show you the sink and what we want to get done. I have the sink left over from the camper that I pop-up camper that I took apart to build New York City, and I want to mount it right here for washing. It'll fit perfectly. It's got a hose. We can take the hose and just run it outside and drain the water out there. But that's going to be cool. So we got to make that this morning. So the height I picked is the same height as our stainless steel tables, which is 36 inches. I'm going to install the first board. Just tack it in place for now. I want to figure out where my other board will be going. I might have to cut off. The goal is to have this here as a brace, put another one there on the back wall. Let's see if it. Put a level on it, make sure it's level this way. There, I like that. Set it in place and see how it fits. It's looking good. Figure out this measurement, 13 and 3 quarter. I'm going to put a level on it. I want this end to be high. Not a lot, just enough to keep the water to run to the drain. Nice. 
Now we need to mark where these are going. Actually, we need to make sure it fits first. Oh, it'll fit perfectly. All right, so I want to mark where these are going. I'll go get a drill bit and we'll drill it out. Then we can recess it down in place. Let's get them marked. Redrill that one. Let's try that again. for a nice little sink. So I need some ideas. I'm trying to think of something I can rest here or here, right in this area, but I was thinking we could put it, recess the shelf in here and set something on here for a water container that you can turn on and wash your hands. Have it go right here. Or you could set it here and wash your hands. I need to be thinking of an idea for that and if any of the modern starters have any great ideas because you guys are awesome thinkers and you always figure stuff out, leave it in the comments down below. I'm going to have to put a leg, I want to put a leg in the corner here, put a shelf down below and we can keep the toilet paper right there. Well, that'll make a nice sink for the outhouse. Nice stainless steel, clean, sanitary. Figure that out, figure out a leg. There's the compost and toilet part, the windows. That's all we're gonna have time for today on the composting outhouse build, but we gotta feed the pig some broccoli. Let's go do it. The broccoli's gone by for us. I bet you the pigs are gonna like it. Pigs want some broccoli. We'll switch it up from some apples. Get you girls eating your greens so we can eat our greens later on. Just because we didn't get any broccoli this year doesn't mean we won't be able to enjoy it later when we're eating our pasture raised bacon. They like their broccoli. Don't you wish your kids ate broccoli like that? Fighting over it? No, I want the broccoli. If you're new to the channel, we want to welcome you. If you haven't seen any, if you haven't seen any of the other outdoor kitchen build projects or the outhouse build project, we'll put a link to those videos here and here and in the description down below. Nothing goes to waste here at Lumna Acres. If we can't eat it, we feed it to our animals and then they'll feed us in return. It's a win-win continuous cycle. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. We wanna thank you for that. We just hit 11,000 subscribers. So thank you, Modern Steaders. 
If you want to find out more about our composting outhouse and why we're making one, we just wrote a blog post on it and that's over at our website. I'll put a link to that here in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.